guys, it's been a while. Um, I have a prophecy from today. It's from 517.23 at 10 a.m. And it's called Chaos and War to Come. And uh, let's get started. So the first part, uh, the war, the why, and your choices. Many faithful think they are anointed and they do not have enough. They are not prepared with food or supplies. This will cause them to fully rely on God in every way through the war. The war will come upon the U.S. very quickly beyond what a person can imagine. The trap has been set. The plan is in motion. There is no stopping what man has planned for this war on the U.S. I am no longer holding back man. All will come to pass that has been foretold. Pray, cry out to me. This is the only way through for those who are here for the war. I will send my angels to those who are mine that cry out to me. Only those with full faith have my provisions. I will be sure my own have no lack of food, water, heat, or cooling for their homes. It will take faith. Those that truly believe I can provide just as I did for the Israelites as they were on their way out of Egypt, those with half-hearted faith will have no provisions. I am, I am. The anointed will be taken out before the U.S. is invaded. When Julie points out what I have placed in the people's minds, those that are anointed will obey immediately. Those who are faithful at that time that obey, these are called the obedient faithful and they will also be taken before the war in the U.S. But they will not go to Geboa as the anointed will. They will go to a place that I shall not disclose to train for a different type of ministry. Left for the war are those that have trouble obeying me immediately, as well as those who have not come to me fully. Those that repent will be filled with the Holy Spirit and have full faith, more than they have ever known. These repentant faithful will be my beacon of hope through the war. I will provide for them all that they need, as well as direct them to safe places, tell them when or when not to go, to, and tell them when or when not to answer the door. They will hear me and they will obey me immediately. They will be my examples to the half-borns and the rebels through the war. They must testify of me to all who wonder how the miracles are possible. They must pray continually as the anointed already do. The repentant faithful will be my prayer choir through the war. Their testimony, their provisions, and their lives with my power. This will soften the half-born's hearts. So when I drop the scales from their ears, they will instantly come to me and believe that my son is the way, the truth, and the life, and they will rejoice to become part of the family of God. I will send my elite teams to help these people. The anointed will come back to the earth discreetly to help the repentant faithful and the half-borns. Miracles that are unbelievable will occur as they help in this first harvest. The half-borns are the first harvest. Okay, the second part. Um, false peace, the false messiah, the antichrist, and your choices. After the war has seemed to end, there will be a false peace. Christians will be given a choice of Jesus or the false messiah. Those that choose Jesus will be raptured shortly after this time. For some, this will be a difficult choice. The politicians and leaders will make the false messiah seem like a very good choice, but this is a deception. All who follow the false messiah will be left behind. He will use deceptive words. He will misquote my son's words. He will claim to be the true savior. All of this is false. The New Testament clearly lays out how my son returns. Do not believe any other story. Read my son's own words, the words in red, every day until he returns. Know me. Know my son Jesus. This is the only way through the deception. The false messiah will be very slick and tricky for those who do not know me. Those who follow the false messiah will also be pushed later to follow the Antichrist. Do not do this. Following the Antichrist is the choice that cannot be reversed. It is an eternal choice to be on the enemy's team forever throughout eternity. I love you and I want you to know me and know love and live forever in eternity with no sin, no deception, no hate or evil. This is what you were made for. But to find it, you must find me. 
and I can only be found through my son, Jesus Christ, the one and only savior. He was sent to earth to take the sins of the world into himself as the sacrificial lamb once for all who believe in him. Read a Bible, learn about my son, Jesus firsthand, know him, he is love. I so love the world that I sent him as the propitiation for sin. Come to me. I deliver forgiveness, hope, love, and eternal life. Detach from this world. Give up the petty cares here. This world is passing away. I am the only lifeboat. My son is the way, the truth, and the life. Truth is the only way to me. The world leaders will offer deception and confusion. Their goals are to entrap and enslave all of humanity. Put your trust in me. I can save you. I love you. I cannot save you until you accept my gift through my son, Jesus. What is about to happen to this world is tragic and terrible. These are men's plans unhindered. For the first time in the world, for the first time, the world will see the plans man has in his heart through its leaders because I am not stopping them as I usually do. The end of time is here and as has already begun as man's plans unfold. Humanity will see what a world without God looks like. All will see this, but not my anointed and not the obedient faithful. They will be translated before man's evil is on display. Those who are here for the war and are full of faith will be protected and provided for. They will see the evil that the kings and leaders have, but they will be my testimony as to what I can do. The half-borns will see the contrast between a loving God and the evil of man. Be warned, man's plans are about to erupt. This will be a violent shock to most of society. Those I provide for must shelter and help as many as they can. I will protect any in their care. When the choice arises to choose me or follow along with man's deceptive plans, I will see the hearts of who is ready to be done with this world. I will send a legion of angels with my son in the clouds to rapture all of mine off the earth. This will cause a disruption that the kings could have never guessed. Worldwide chaos will be underway as governments collapse and societies implode from the lack of humans to keep the world going as it has been. The number that will be mine and taken will be great. The impact will be known. From behind the scenes, a man, no one that is currently in leadership, will be elevated as being able to solve the world's new crisis. He will be promoted by the false Messiah and he will seem to be a good person, but he is the Antichrist and he is the most evil person the world has ever known made from souls of others and made from the very darkest demons and evil. This man will change the character. This man will change in character after he wins over the world and he will turn humanity into a slave system. He will demand that people worship him. Those that do this will be eternally belonging to the evil one and have the consequences of being in the lake of fire for eternity. Those that reject this man will have a very difficult time surviving. This is because the Antichrist mark will be the only way to have access to food, housing, water, and other essentials. Before the mark comes out, I will send my anointed and some faithful to help find people who do not want to follow the evil leader. They will be taken to secret safe houses where they will be exposed to the gospel of my son, Jesus. Most will choose to accept my free gift of grace. Those that become Christians will become hiders. They will have angelic help as well as help from the sent anointed and faithful. But most will be rounded up and become martyrs for my namesake. I will remove their pain if they trade their life for me. I will give them grace the grace of not having to feel what is happening to them. Some will stay hidden until the end when I send my son to put his feet on the mount to bring his holy justice against evil. The holy war is, called, is what many call Armageddon. He will easily defeat the evil ones and take the earth as his kingdom. 
The days of evil are coming to an end. There is no need to stay here to experience the evil plans of man. Seek me. Seek Jesus. Come to be with us and live in love and joy for eternity. Do not stiffen your neck. Submit to me. Drop your pride. Cry out to me. I am love. Come to me. Those of you who have been faithfully asking me, when, when, when can we go home? Soon. Remember, I have strategic reasons for the dates upcoming and when I will do things never seen. Trust me. I know you are tired. I know you are aching to be here. Hold on. It is soon. Do not lose hope. I have it all in the palm of my hand. Okay, the third one is just to the anointed. My anointed leaders go first. I will bring them to Gaboa. Then the other anointed will come. You will all train together. You will learn my skills. Each will have their own gifts and armor specialized to their own strengths. I will personally train you on Gaboa. I will personally anoint you with my oil. You will see my face and my throne. You will be completely healed and transformed before me into who I see you to be. You will have new skills and abilities that would boggle your mind now. You will be fitted with the highest order of body given to humans in heaven. It will supersede any other form given because of how I will use you in the tribulation to rescue my own. You will learn all that you will need to know with me on Gaboa. Look forward to our time together. We will rejoice and dance and prepare. And I will renew your weary souls so that when I set you to work, you will be fresh and motivated and filled with my holy power. Be encouraged. We will soon be face to face. Your race is almost done. Keep your focus on me. The deceptions of the world are increasing. I will guide you just a short while longer and you will be here. As you are doing, continually refresh your souls with my word, worship, and prayer, and I will faithfully heal, restore, and give you my joy and endurance. Some of you have begun receiving my healing to prepare you for the translation. Use it as a testimony to my provisions for those with true faith. Some changes are obvious, others are not. Rest assured that I have all the details in my hand. Be of understanding, chaos is to come just before the anointed leave. The roots of this chaos are already in motion. Just lean into me and you will have no concerns. The chaos must come, then war. Know that no anointed will be here when the war comes. If you thought you were anointed and you are here, repent and draw into me. Anointed, be encouraged. The time moves forward, unhindered. When you see the chaos, rejoice, for you will be with me shortly after this. So that's today's thing. I am going to try and get another video out regarding the healing because I've had and my circle of people have had a lot of healing. So I'm going to try and um, pull together a video for that. Um, I've had a lot of dreams and words and everything come out, but I just don't have time to get all of that organized. But I had to get this out because this was for everyone. So hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.